Thank you very much, Lajmi, for that kind introduction. It's such an honor to be a part of the Inc. community. And may I just take this opportunity to wish Nandini a very happy birthday. just listened to was the overture of the Lim Fantasy of Companionship for Piano and Orchestra presented by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London recently. With that, I would like you to join me on a musical journey into a fantasy of companionship between human and inanimate inspired by the loneliness that pervades modern society today, set against the backdrop of some of the most incredible new sciences and technologies in our time. This is a personal story that I would like to share, and it began in 2016. I had stepped away from surgery, retired after 30 years, having partnered with a robot in the operating room for the last decade of my career. I was used to working long hours with my robot companion, and I felt that this partnership of man and machine was a companionship that could be extrapolated to other fields. I started to look around. Fast forward to today, and there's a whole new breed of companion robots that has crept up alongside humans, in part because the world has become a more lonely place with so many people of all ages experiencing social isolation and mental health issues. These robot companions appeared intimidating and that didn't seem right to me. AI could be embodied in any inanimate form, and why not in a plush toy simply called Alan? Spend a little time with me. Let me open your mind and your imagination to what possibilities exist for companionship in this brave new world. A world where robots coexist with humankind where intelligence becomes artificial, where tangible becomes virtual, and where life is code. And so I embarked on this newfound journey, a storyteller, pen replacing scalpel, and a blank canvas in place of the human form. My story would be a fantasy of companionship between human and inanimate. As an academic surgeon, I was a prolific writer of scientific publications, but this was different, like a breath of fresh air. I was no longer confined by the rigor of scientific writing. I could think out of the box, imagine, write my lyrics, and tell my story. From plush toys to AI-embedded creations, my story evolved with a fast and furious momentum. And then, the science of quantum entanglement caught my attention. Simply put, it fired up my imagination. AI embodied in a human 
through quantum entanglement. But how would I communicate this disruptive companionship artistically to the audience? By a stroke of serendipity, my path intersected with that of two remarkable individuals, musician Joy Barua at Inc. Asia 2016, and animation artist Samudra Kajal Saikya at Inc. Hyderabad 2017. You see, everything begins at Inc. So we came together, musician, artist, and surgeon, to craft a narrative of a futuristic companionship through music and film. While making the film as an animation film, it was a huge task for us how to assimilate different kind of sensibilities into one singular plane. Different kinds of cross genre experimentations were actually assimilated in our practice. story about the journey of Alan, twice teleported from an animate to inanimate and ultimately into a human being. The hope is that the limb fantasy will inspire a discussion about what is life and what is not life. Exactly the point. What is life and what is non-life? From conscious and intelligent machines to AI embodied in a human, transcending the boundaries of physicality through quantum entanglement. Yes, that would be the climax of my fantasy. I scribbled furiously. The science has been done. Two objects merged in an instant, share the same existence. Emotions felt in one, Mirrored in the other, new lives begun. Teleportation. Lyrics in hand, I reached out to composer Joy Barua, a continent away. Joy Barua was at his very best as he created the most riveting and the most heart-wrenching music to my lyrics. The Beto Gabriel from India. This is very true. That guy is very, very talented. I really think teleportation is an incredible masterwork by Joy Barua, and it really represents the climax of the entire fantasy. Teleportation really is um, the magnum opus of the entire fantasy. The concept of teleportation has probably been one of Susan's bravest chapters in the story. Teleportation was written out of empathy for the character Alan and hope and optimism for its future through the physics of quantum entanglement. It tells you where science is willing to go and where the story is willing to go and where probably humanity is heading. And so we have arrived at the climax of our musical journey made possible through a team of musicians and composers who joined us along the way. Please now permit yourselves to be teleported into a quantum realm where the laws of classical physics no longer apply into a future brimming with profound companionship that leverages the trajectory of science and which may shape the future of our shared destiny. Star form Toss wilted by the air Waiting for a brainstorm Or some miracle conjured in the air To get me there Yeah. 
before she fell to one, a mirror than the other, two lives begun. Teleportation, yeah. But just by accident, a shared existence, it's my resurrection. wondering what we are doing is right or not, wondering if we can do this or not. It's moments like this that make us feel whatever we are hold doing on, is worth on. it. Someone who meets someone who meets someone else do this amazing stuff and they honor the stage to come back and present it here. Thank come you. On, thank you, thank you, thank you.